right, class right here we have test out 729 configure switch and IP settings. All right, so we're going to go through this one thing at a time here. <clears throat> All right, so in this lab, we've just got some items it wants us to do here. It wants us to find the IP address assigned to the fast Ethernet zero interface on router SFO. So it wants us to use the show CDP neighbor to figure that out and answer the question. So apparently at SFO, is, we can go here. So we're going to do a show run. Fast Ethernet. Zero, 0 has this IP address right here. So I imagine it's a question we're going to answer. What is the IP address assigned to Fast Ethernet 0, 0? It is 11.254.11.254. All right. So we got that question done. All right. Next here is configure the switch with the following parameters. It's got an VLAN, an IP address, and a subnet mask. It says the switch. All right, so um, in here we've got a router SFO, a router LAX. You can tell by the fact that they're round with the arrows pointed inward and outward. <clears throat> the switch is this um, square rectangle here with the, the uh, uh, arrows pointing either direction. We're going to click on the switch. And we're going to I'm going to type enable right here, or en for short. And now we're at the privilege exec prompt, and we're going to I'm going to do a show run right here. If I can make this a little bigger, let's see. Yeah, a little bit bigger. I'm going to do a show run, or I'm going to display all this stuff. All right. All right. So nothing is set up. We want right now. So it wants us to uh, for interface VLAN one. It wants us to put this IP address on it. So, all right. So in order to do that, I'm going to go to configure terminal or config T. Okay, I'm going to go interface VLAN 1, press enter. So you notice now our command prompt switches from config to config IF. That means we're inside interface VLAN 1 right now. That's the command we gave, and we're going to give it an IP address. And we're going to give the subnet mask that's listed there, uh, slash 24 subnet mask. That is zero. And we'll press enter. All right. It says configure the switch to use the fast Ethernet interface on SFO router as the default gateway. All right. So we know what that um, address is because we just looked it up and we put it in the answer to that question earlier. All right, so um, so I'm going to exit once back to global command mode. I'm getting out of the interface and go to global command mode. I'm going to type in IP default gateway, and I'm going to put in that IP address of the uh, that's listed there. IP address that's listed on the SFO router fast Ethernet zero zero. Go to answer questions, you'll see that is 192.168.11.254. Because we looked that up earlier. Press enter there. Then it says save your changes to the startup config file. All right, so now that I have those in there, I'm going to exit. I'm going to do a show run just to see if. How everything's doing here. Did 
there's the changes we made right there. We can see the default gateway, and then we can see interface VLAN 1 with that IP address on it. All right, so in order to save the changes, startup config file, I'm going to do this. I'm going to say copy running config to startup config, just like that. You can type the first few characters so it becomes non-ambiguous, and you can press tab, and it will complete it for you. Like that. Press enter. Destination file name. We're going to keep it the same. We're going to press enter. All right. Now that we got that done, we should. We've got our question answered, and we've completed all the steps. So I'm going to say, uh, where's the here under answer questions? I'm going to say Score Lab. All right. We've got four out of four, 100 pass. So couldn't do any better than that. And got all the correct answers for what we need to do right here. All right, that uh, looks like that does it. Uh, any questions uh, by anyone, you guys reach out and uh, email, phone call, stop by, mention it in class. Thanks.